Hey guys, this is Jim again. I tried to make a video the other day and I don't know what happened. I think I think I ran out of memory on my uh, phone. So um, today I'm going to shave with this is the showcase item that I'm going to shave with. I got a new Sterling brush. It is very big, as you can see, as opposed to like a standard. Omega S brush. This is a this is a 22 or a 24 inch knot or a, I'm sorry 22 or 24 millimeter knot. This is a 26 millimeter knot, and uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the bristles are very dense on the Sterling knot. Granted, this is a few months old; it's been broken in. Um, here's another. Omega brush for a little more contrast. You can see the size difference on the on the top of the brush, and uh, it's definitely softer. This is, from what I understand, these standard brushes are a synthetic approximation of a bore bristle, your standard bore bristle. Um, very sturdy bristles. You can see that it's a very sturdy brush. Um, that is, you probably can't barely hear that as opposed to the other one. It's a uh, displays very well. I've used it once. I'm going to use it again today. I'm going to use a pre-war tech with a Maggard MR11 handle very good aftermarket handle for Tex if you're looking for one. It's, it's a kind of smallish. Here's another Tech, another pre-war Tech. The handles are it's just slightly longer. It's got some good knurling on it and the price is right. You can get those at maggardrazors.com or you know Google Maggard Razors and look for those. They make very good aftermarket handles for various different razors. Um, I'm gonna use a, I just put a new puck of sterling spice in my Maggard mugs, or in my Maggard mug, in my Marvy mug. So I'm going to use that today. Just very nice, kind of old spicy scent to it. Of course I'm sure it's going to perform great as most uh, sterling soaps do. Uh, I did my standard pre-wash with Noxema, head and face. Hot water, Noxema, Rubbing it with the fingers, wash it off with a washcloth, works good. Again, uh, I don't know if I've discussed this, but uh, rather than fill my sink with water and have to deal with all the goop, I use a salsa bowl. I know these are quite popular in the shaving community. I got this at a local Mexican grocery store. I just fill that up with hot water and I rinse my, uh, if I have to dunk my brush, I dunk my brush. If I need to rinse my razor, I rinse my razor in that. Um, then I just I can just dump it out and refill it if I feel the need. <clears throat> um, this brush holds a lot of water. It's softer. I mean, you can see that it's it's not just falling out once I dunk it. Let's load it up. I love these Marvy mugs. They're great. I know they're kind of old-fashioned. It's kind of a nostalgic type of thing, but I really like it. The kids can knock it on the floor. It's not going to break. I can accidentally knock it on the sink or the floor or drop it while I'm loading the brush. It's not going to break. It's very, very sturdy, very, very reasonably priced. 10 12 bucks, between 12 and 15 bucks usually for the green rubbery one. And it's a real Marvy mug. It says Marvy, Marvy mug right on the bottom, so it's a real Marvy mug. It's not some kind of knockoff. I think that brush is loaded. Good enough for my first pass anyway. I don't mind reloading it if I have to. As many of you know, I head lather. I like to build my lather on my head. It takes a little bit longer, I think. But for me, I like it. This brush is definitely not as sturdy as uh, 
doesn't have as much backbone as the uh, standard Omega brush, but it's very, very nice. I notice a bit when I'm when I'm head lathering the splay. I'm gonna have to get used to that how it splays out as compared to the Omega brush. But I think I'm gonna like it. This is definitely gonna be probably my daily driver when I'm at home when I'm lathering up. Oh, that soap is nice. I love that smell. That sterling spice scent. Not overly strong, but it's. But once you lather up with it, you can. The smell, the scent starts to blast out. Not really, really strong because it's a very mild scent anyway. But it. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just barely dipping my brush in that salsa bowl. Just barely, just barely touch. It saves time having to turn on the sink and do your little water drip, drip. <laughs> I do things a little differently, but they work, they work for me anyway. And... I like to build my lather until I hear, I want to hear kind of a yogurty slappiness to it. It's almost there. That's how I know I'm getting there. Just a little bit of water. Mm. This brush is definitely doesn't have as much backbone, but it's very pleasant to lather with. I don't feel like I'm getting, but the tips are slightly scritchy, slightly pokey, which I like. I like that feedback while I'm loading. I wouldn't want it to just be like a wet mop and just not be able to feel anything at all. I like the. I like the scritchiness. I think this is probably about as soft of a backbone as I would want on a razor because of that. I like the feedback. Also, I think maybe because of the denseness of the bristles on this sterling brush, it uh, provides that. I might be getting the same type of exfoliating effect as I would with a smaller bore brush just because of the size of the head or the size of the brush and the uh, the knot and the, um, the denseness of the bristles. Do my cheeks. I don't shave much on my face, just my cheeks. Top of my cheeks. Just beard maintenance and then my throat. Hmm. I can feel the slickness of this soap and cushion. It's about standard what you would expect from sterling. Very nice. Oh, that scent is nice. Sterling has such a variety of scents. Hmm. Very, very nice.
I've been working on my technique for shaving my throat because my throat is very sensitive skin. But my beard is very, very thick. I was shaving with that uh, Arctic, I'm sorry, frozen tundra that I got the other day, and very, very slick, very nice, great cushion, but I hadn't shaved with a menthol soap in so long that I got a couple nicks on my throat, or I got a few nicks, actually, three or four, just for the sheer fact that I couldn't feel my freaking face. It was just too, too, uh... Too cold that menthol but that scent was very nice the frozen tundra it reminded me of uh, the menthol wasn't quite as strong as like a, the glacial line glacial lemon chill and things like that but it was still very very nice but man it's not exactly warm right now in the desert here in California we're at a higher altitude so it gets cold in the evening, and I shaved with that soap, and whew, it was cold. But as I said, I was making the video, and I got about halfway through it, and I ran out of memory on my phone, and the video just shut off. So I apologize for that. I didn't get to do that review. I'll review that soap later. I still have lots of soaps that I'd like to review. I'm also. As I mentioned before, I'm working on changing hands and gaining some dexterity in my left hand, maintaining light pressure but control. I want to work on that. Okay. Hopefully, this video won't go very long because I. I'm going to be switching hands, but practice makes perfect, or perfect practice makes perfect, or whatever, whatever you want to, but I still need to learn the basics with my left hand. And when the salsa bowl just gets a little too full, like it is right now, I've got, you know, soap floating in it and whiskers and rinse it out and uh, fill it back up hot water or warm water works great I like to use that salsa bowl You guys don't see this, but shaving the back of my head. I might not be, this might not be typical of what a lot of people experience, but I find that. I get a better shave on my face with a different razor than I do with my head. On my head, I prefer, I actually prefer text. They're, they're great, they're mild. I can put a sharp blade in there. And uh, of course, my skin on my head is to, just covers my skull, but all of this skin down here is covered by relatively giving tissue, you know. Uh, not to get into an anatomy lesson or anything, but uh, this skin has a lot more give, and it's and it, uh, it definitely, in my experience, it's very sensitive when compared to the skin on my head. My skin and my head is much more forgiving, so uh, of of abuse. My 
the skin on my throat is much more sensitive than the skin on my face. When I used to shave with cartridge razors or disposable razors, it was pretty typical of me to have uh, just nicks here on the sides. Nowhere else. Very rarely would I get a nick on my uh, face when I shave my face when I was in the military. I would almost always get them on my throat right here. Right here and right here. Maybe around my Adam's apple. But we weren't taught to shave correctly. We were just taught to have baby smooth skin. No whiskers. Didn't matter if we were bleeding. Didn't matter if we had a the worst razor burn in recorded history. It just had to be smooth. So I had problems with that all going through the Navy. That was one thing that was constantly giving me problems. Was having to shave every day. Baby smooth. With that cartridge razor. I don't know if I laid up the cartridge razor or just a lack of technique. Could be both. Could be one or the other. It was harder. And plus the time limits, especially in boot camp, 15 minutes to, to crap, shower, and shave does not give you a lot of time for good technique, multiple passes, dealing with people with different types of, of uh, beards, beard growth, skin sensitivities. If a guy had a very fine beard, sure, 15 minutes, great, easy. But I found that I was shaving at night in boot camp. I was shaving at night in boot camp and then doing touch-ups in the morning before inspection and stuff like that. So it was not pleasant. I was shaving a lot, dealing with a lot of razor burn. This brush handle is huge. I like it. I, I feel like I'm not getting almost not not unpleasant, but the some of the smaller brush handles have you have a hard time, especially when you're lathering as much as I am. I'm just lathering my face and my head, having a hard time holding that small handle. But this one is nice and hefty. Easy to hold. You might not have the maneuverability of a smaller brush just for the sheer fact that the knot is bigger and the handle is bigger and it's not really made for finer manipulation of the tool, but it works well for me, especially because I like the head lather. So And my shaving isn't as needs to be as precise as someone is, for example, if they've got a, a very well manicured goatee or a Van Dyke or something like that. I don't deal with that. I have in the past, and I may in the future, but at this moment, I am not. So, whatever. I'm still testing out blades, figuring out which ones work for me, but I find that different razors perform different, or different blades perform differently in different razors. Different razors perform differently when the different blades are in them. So, I, uh, I'm still figuring that out. I don't have a formula. I don't take notes. I just 
Make a note of it. A mental note of it. Okay. Left hand, we'll see. I don't want the left side of my head to suffer for a lack of dexterity in my left hand. Feels awkward, but anything new does. or an ingrown hair behind my ear. Did I nick it? No, I don't think I did. Came close. Hmm. That was weird. <laughs> okay, back of my neck. When I shave the back of my neck, I go south-north, and then I go from the middle, from like my spine, out towards the front of my throat, the side of my neck. I do those two passes, I usually find that's just good for my neck. I can never get a perfectly baby smooth neck. It's just something about those hairs. It's difficult, and I'm just not chasing that. But it's smooth enough. Close enough for me. I'm going to go through all the stages of my shave today, even though I'm going to be taking a shower. I just want to show you guys, talk about it a little bit. Like I could do another pass on my head, but it's pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna bother. Those seven o'clock yellows are very good, and of course, the Gillette Tech, the pre-war tech, is not exactly the most mild razor. So I can usually get somewhere between a damn fine shave and a baby's butt smooth shave in two passes. But I'm going to give my throat one more. You can see the performance of the soap.
Oh, should I bullfrog? Should I stretch it? What should I do? I need a bullfrog. Pretty good. There's a bullfrog. One more? Why not? <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm too much of a perfectionist. Sometimes I'm not enough. Just some touch up here. Trying to practice some of the J hook skills that I've learned lately. I was watching the uh, wet shavers uh, meeting or video with uh, that Douglas and David Hernandez do and Con Castanitas is occasionally participating in and uh, trying to learn a little more I know Con's been busy lately Oh, I got a nick. I thought I was going to get a nick there because I had kind of an ingrown hair. Yeah, little one. But I don't think I got any on my head. Oh, that's smoother. Oh, almost, almost, almost. But that's my sensitive area. My. beard is so thick, but my skin is so sensitive right there. But that's pretty good. Almost. Definitely better than a damn fine shave. One little nick. I've been living with nicks since I was 15. First started shaving, so if I get one little nick, I'm okay. I don't mind. At all. Plus, it's going to stop bleeding in just a minute or two, and then I'm going to jump in the shower anyway. But, um, I'm going to chase this shave. I had my styptic out, just in case. <laughs> Didn't really need it today. I always have it out just in case, so you never know. Um, I'm really liking this Shea Nation, or the Shea, Shea Moisture Shave. What did they say? Shave Nation? Shea Moisture Shave. It's a tea tree aftershave. Uh, and bump preventer. This one's about a third left, but I have I have another one waiting in the wings, waiting to go. So I like that stuff. I have another bottle in a box in my shave box. So I'm gonna use that, and then I'm gonna chase it with some brag. I like this stuff. I've been kind of buying what I want to buy as opposed to buying what everyone says you should buy. You know, if I was listening to everybody, I'd be wearing Dolce Gabbana the one, or I'd be wearing, uh, uh, what, Yves Saint Laurent, uh, uh, like La Nuit de L'Homme, stuff like that, really expensive house frags, Creed, I'd be wearing Creed, but I like to buy fragrances at Ross.